West Hollywood for hours tonight. The search for the suspect who's considered armed and dangerous. Two major decisions about the future of abortion pills in America. One judge suspending access to the medication while the other protecting it. We're going to try to make sense of all of that and get reaction from both sides tonight. But we begin with breaking news. Santa Ana police say they shot a suspect. Sky Cal live over the scene for Kate us. Kate Cal, assignment editor Mike Rogers is live at the desk with all the details. Mike, what do you know? Hey, Ross, I just hung up the phone with the sergeant over there at Santa Ana PD, and I can tell you this all started with a traffic stop. You see this video from Sky Cal right here. He's live over the scene right now. Uh, this car that you're looking at is the car that was involved in the traffic stop. Now, something happened, something went wrong that led to this shooting. Santa Ana police tell me several people in the car got out and ran. Sky Cal is going to zoom out uh, and we'll show you. It's a very, very large scene here in the 600 block of Rosewood. Now, uh, police tell me that this traffic stop was in one place. The shooting potentially happened in another. Uh, we've seen police uh, taking pictures in this area of this roundabout here. So they're still trying to sort out exactly what happened. I can tell you one person was taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds uh, from police. I have asked Santa Ana PD, was this person armed? Did they threaten you? Uh, they say that is all still under investigation right now. I can tell you, though, the person that they shot is stable at a local hospital, and they have everybody they're looking for. There are no outstanding suspects here, uh, but this area is going to be shut down for quite a bit of time while they do this investigation. And as you can see from SkyCal, it is a very large scene and perimeter, guys. All right, Mike, we'll uh, continue to follow that, of course. Let us know if anything else develops. Thank you. Well, good evening, I'm Serene Branson. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. Tonight, a legal and political earthquake surrounding access to the abortion pill. And at the epicenter, two conflicting federal rulings. KCAL News political reporter Tom Waite is here to sort it all out for us tonight. Yeah, Tom. and these are major pieces of news tonight, and I think mm -hmm. a lot of people are confused. We're going to try to get them through this. So there are two competing rulings. Bottom line, the pill does remain available. But for how long? Legal experts say this case of whether the pill stays available is almost Almost certain to go to the conservative Supreme Court, which less than a year ago struck down Roe versus Wade. We're seeing things right now across our country that we have never seen before. Sue Dunlap, president and CEO of Planned Parenthood Los Angeles, reacting to the latest stunning setback for those in favor of women's reproductive rights. Late Friday, a conservative Texas judge ordered a national hold on Mifeprestone, a pill that was approved by the FDA more than 20 years ago and that's used in most abortions. The pill will for now remain available as the judge also put a hold on his own ruling for seven days to give time for an appeal. What I want to highlight is that this decision is clearly about ideology and politics. It's not about science and medicine. And by no stretch of the imagination does it take into account women's health care, doctor's safety or clarity. And it is not something that I ever believed I would see in my lifetime. The ruling came after an anti-abortion rights group took the case to Judge Matthew Kaczmarek's court, claiming the FDA improperly approved Mifepristone, arguing the pill poses a risk to patients. Judge Kaczmarek was appointed by former President Trump, and before becoming a judge, he worked extensively on anti-abortion rights advocacy. Loyola Law Professor Jessica Levinson. The bottom line is it's just unprecedented for any group to go to one federal judge and say overturn FDA approval of a drug. Making the day's developments even more confusing, another federal judge in Washington state issued an opposite ruling on Mifepristone within minutes of the Texas ruling. We have one saying that there should be a nationwide injunction to stop the FDA approval of Mifepristone, one of the two abortion pills, even though that ruling will be paused for a week. And then we have another judge saying absolutely not we should have an injunction that keeps Mifepristone on the market. All of this means the next step is likely the Court of Appeals and then most likely and children with the approval of the drug originally. Governor Gavin Newsom issued a statement on the decision by the Texas judge writing today's ruling by an extremist judge pursuing a political agenda ignores facts, science and the law, putting the health of millions of women and girls at risk. Abortion is still legal and accessible here in California, and we won't stand by as fundamental freedoms are.